Hello everybody and welcome back to season 10 episode 11 Tears of the Essence The Real Housewives of Atlanta I told y'all something was not right about Will I told y'all Go back and watch my other reviews because I tried to tell you. But anyway, so Portia has a little vegan, vegan chef come over to cook for her, she and Kim. Kim is vegetarian, so who else to invite over? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Who else can she invite, o- invite over? Don't nobody else on the cast care for her because it's a candy situation. Don't nobody else care for Kim because she don't burn too many bridges. So they just about only got e- each other to record with. But when Kim was sitting up there and eating that food and talking about how good it was and said, ooh, uh, let me get a plate of this and carry to Croy. <laughs> this madness has got to stop. It's just so inappropriate to me. He cannot keep sitting out in the car. I just feel like at this point, if she's afraid, if she's afraid to record, then she does just, just don't need to be on the show. And I do understand why he's out there. Kim has been attacked a couple of times. And so that's why she keep being on there. And two, I just feel like they try to gang up on her. And I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like one is because of her color. And two, they feel like uh, they like to bag a person in the color and gang up on her. And I don't think that's right. I don't think that's fair. And I think they need to cut it out. Anyway. Kim still thinks Kenya is lying about being married. At this point, I don't want to hear no more about it. I honestly think uh, Kenya is married. I don't think there's nothing else we can say about it and, and discuss about it. And that's it. When I was talking about uh, Croy being out there in the car, at this point, if he's going to have to sit outside in the car, they need to get one of them vans like Tyrese be driving. He need to be out there in one of them them vans like uh, Tyrese driver and like T.I. be traveling in and need to be comfortable. He can convert a seat into a bed and need to have him a, a microwave out there. <laughs> they just need to have him a little bus out there where he can have like a bathroom and everything. Stop torturing that man. But anyway... So Candy is having a event for her Essence cover, and and Don Nunn is still trying to shade Portia. He didn't send her an invite, but Candy said to send her send her one so she can see how great and her her glow up is, and basically. All this jazz. I was personally hoping Portia didn't go. I'm the type of person. I'm not going to go nowhere I'm not wanted. Especially by somebody I know that don't like me. And I would have told her later. Thank you for the invite. But I know that you don't like me. And you didn't care if I came one way or another. But I do appreciate you. At least for sending me one anyway. And I wouldn't even wait for her to reply. Because you know Candy was going to have something smart to say out of her mouth. And I'd have went on. But no. Portia just had to come. But. Like I said, I'm just over their comments. When a por- when a person has apologized to you, and to me, Portia has apologized to Candy sincerely a lot of times, a couple of times, two, three times on air as it is. It's on that person. It's between that person and God after that point. Let It's time for Portia to let Candy take that up with God. If Candy, Candy want to har- harbor it, she she has to harbor it. There's no other way that you can explain the situation of what happened. If Portia, if, if Phaedra claimed that, yeah, I did say it. I shouldn't have said it. I took advantage of her. Though she still, she has every right to still be mad at Portia. But to just sit around and mistreat her, I'd rather just stay away from her. I did, did, did. Candy has been recording with Portia. They've been on a trip. Everything's been worked out. Everything has been fine. For a dumb one to start trying to re 
for Dunn one to try to start over the beef. I feel like he's trying to keep the beef fresh and keep the beef going because we all know he a petty bitch. I'm going to say it. He don't want Candy to have no other friends but he, him and Carmen. And he makes sure Carmen stays at arm length too. Hell, ain't nobody stupid. He makes sure that he the head bitch. He don't want nobody else close to her. And he needs this beef and them not to make up because he don't want Candy to have no close friends. He needs to be the only friend. He wanted them. He he wanted them type of people. Candy got enough love for for enough people for him not to behave like that. Cause that's why she don't have no friends. And she too dumb that, to realize and too dumb to see what he doing to her. Then she don't deserve to have any more friends. She, he burning all the bridges around her. And she better watch her back. Cause her husband is next. He done tried to get rid of Todd and turn her against Todd, but he couldn't. He had to embrace it. But Todd better not get comfortable. Cause it's not too late for him to get gone too. Candy mess around. Let them guards down to get comfortable enough. Done one gonna have. Um, tied right on at the door too. Just wait, wait for it. He gonna catch him sleeping, and they ain't gonna be paying him no attention. And just all he all he need is one little loophole, one little loose string to un, 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 unravel Candy whole little blanket, and she'll be manless. Watch what I tell you. Anyway, okay, so. Pimp Nene, homegirl Eva done come to town because she dating somebody that's running for mayor. So, you know, Eva may end up being the first lady of Atlanta one day. Y'all do remember Eva from America, America's Next Top Model. Then she had her own show and then she did Scared Famous. Uh, so... Let me point this out. When she was on all these shows, she was real petty. And she was known to keep some kind of drama going. So I don't find it no coincidence that she's on here stirring the pot and keeping some drama going. And I love it. And I hope they add her to the cast of this show because I need this permanent excitement in my life. Church fan. Thank you, Eva girl. I love you, honey. Add her to the show because we need it. We need it every day drop of it every little bit of it so anyway she come she come on in town and rode up in town and spilled some tea that she and her man was at an event and they met will and his at the time girlfriend it's been close enough in a close enough time frame that it needs to be questioned whether or not that they still dating so, to her, the girl goes on to tell Eva that she done met Will's daughter and how lovely she is. That So, to Eva, that's a pretty deep relationship. If you done met his daughter, what have you. Okay, so, are they dating or are they not dating? I'm a person to tell you. Based on his reaction, I feel like he must still be dating her because he chickened and cowered out. He didn't even know how to handle the situation. And he was guilty to me. I'm going to tell you out the gate. I think they still dating. So anyway, Nene and Eva proceed to tell some of the other ladies in the group about it. Why Kenya going to run tell Cynthia, when she she wasn't the one that should have been telling it, cause Nene was gonna tell it, and Nene should have been the one telling it. And and Kenya gonna try to run tell Cynthia, honey, after you done left Cynthia with exhaust in her face, you was the last one to tell it. Kenya didn't even know all the details to be running to tell it. But I'm glad that they went on out there and and. Told her because, like Nene said, you don't know what Kenya gonna say and how she was gonna twist it or what not and what have you. She gets on my damn nerves. She always be trying to do the mo do the most. But anyway, so they go out there and talk to Cynthia about it, and Cynthia, you know, she said, "I appreciate the new appreciate y'all letting me know and y'all telling me or what have you and what not." Then. Portia and Sheree and Kim come outside. They don't know nothing about what's going on. Um, then was Kim with them? I can't remember, but I don't care. Anyway, so 
Portia's like, and Dre, they say, I feel like we missed it. What did we miss? And they hear Cindy saying, by all means, if y'all ever hear that, my man is cheating, let me know. And Portia said, wait, so you do want to know? And she grabbed Cynthia by the finger like this. She said, okay, wait. So if you do want to know, then girl, I got something to tell you, y'all. The look on Cynthia's face, when I tell you I was so heartbroken. I feel so bad. Candy done tried to warn you when, when she gave him the 12th degree. Just his whole reaction to it, to me, did not sit right. When he called Eva, Eva Odom, she was like, this is awkward. And they had the whole conversation about it. And he going to say to Cynthia, uh, say to Eva, I hope you're happy because basically this was this was good and everything was good and you messed this up. So like saying it was on you, no, Will, you, it, this, it was real stupid how he said it. No, it was on you for lying. Everybody knew you was lying, but you, bruh, boy, bye. You messed this up. But anyway, it was stupid. It was Marlo that was out there talking to them, too. But anyway, I got to say this. This is something else totally different. When Portia got to the event... This is back to Portia because I just thought about this. I should have made notes of the show. Dunn won sitting around waiting for Portia to show up trying to throw shade. And it wasn't even that kind of party. In all honesty, Carmen and Dunn won are not the type of people that Candy should have at any major event like this. They are too unprofessional and too immature for somebody of candy stature, they do not need to be in tow. They can be behind the scenes, but they do not need to be in front of the scenes. They should be working to help get her event set up. Once the event is set up, she needs professional people in front of the scenes. They are not the people to have. They are very unprofessional. They are so immature and so childish. And they are bad for her image. They are bad for her reputation. There I said, and if she's ignorant enough to let them keep representing her that she deserves what she gets then Todd made that god awful bitch ass speech that speech was such a punk bitch move it was so full of bitch assness that I literally had to turn the channel I feel like he had a mouthful of penis when he was talking. He, 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 uh, it was just horrible. No man should be making a speech like that toward their wife. It was like watching that episode of Married to Medicine when Mariah tried to present Toya with that award, talking about, no, she has not disrespected my mama. I, it was one of those situations. Literally, I feel like he was standing up there with egg on his face because the, how he said it was so horrible and petty and unprofessional. What kind of people is Candy surrounded by? Just unprofessional, ignorant people. He just another one. He ain't nothing but another wheel while she walking around grilling wheel. So is Todd. Todd was another wheel. They was right about Todd. She just been lucky that he tried to change and become a better person. There you have it. And, to, and then something else I left out I wanted to say. Cynthia, a good one. Kenya wouldn't have been able to come and tell me nothing about my doggone man after how she treated me when we was over there in Houston, how she drove off and left ex exhaust in my face. It ain't nothing she could have came up and said to me because I would have been serving her shade all night long. I would have spoke to her and hey, how you doing? And I would have went on about my business, but she wouldn't have been able to come up to me and tell me nothing after she'd have been that mean and disrespectful to me because she was just really that mean. But anyway, I can't wait to see this show come the next Thursday, next Sunday, because I, I'm ready to find out 
what Porsche know. I hope they give me a sneak peek or a preview. And if so, I'm going to be here to give it to you first. So y'all make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell icon to be notified when I upload the next video. Be sure you go back and watch my previous reviews from any show that you may like that comes on reality TV that I do a review for. I'm going to drop you a playlist and give you a convenient subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all in the next review. Bye.